The Stone in the Road, a fable of unknown origin. Long ago and far away, there lived a king with a kind heart who would do anything for his people. But one day the king realized that his subjects were growing lazier and lazier. It seemed that they never did anything for themselves anymore. And what was worse, they seldom did anything for each other. The king wondered if there was even one person in his kingdom who would go out of his way to help his neighbors. He decided to test them and to teach them a lesson at the same time. Late one night, the king rolled a huge stone, a boulder, out into the middle of the main road of the kingdom. And then he secretly placed a bag of gold under the stone. And then the king hid near the side of the road to watch what would happen next. Just after dawn, a woman passed by on her way to the market. Because of the stone, she had to walk in the mud at the side of the road. Someone should really move that stone, she said in an angry voice. Two students walked by on their way to school. What a nuisance, said one. Why doesn't the king move that stone out of our road, asked the other. <sighs> and so it continued all day long. Some people blamed the king. Some people blamed the stone. And some even kicked the stone as they walked around it. The king grew sadder and sadder in his hiding place. Just as the sun was about to set, a young girl passed by. When she saw the stone, she stopped. <gasps> I'd better get that stone out of the road, she said. Someone might come down the road after dark and not see the stone and bump into it. The girl pushed and pushed at the stone. A man tried to stop her, saying, Hey, little girl, you don't need to do that. You don't need to move that stone. Let the king take care of it. But the girl kept pushing and pushing until at last she was able to roll the stone to the side of the road. Ah. It was then that she saw the bag of gold that the king had left underneath. Everyone agreed that the girl should keep the bag of gold and that she deserved it. The people of the kingdom were more than a little ashamed that they had not moved the stone themselves. After that, they began helping each other instead of waiting for the king to do everything for them. The end.